and he began teaching the lesson. And as he opened the book, I noticed that Yazul was wearing his wrist brace. And this, this worried me because we had heard that Hazur had injured his wrist or hurt his wrist a while ago, maybe a year and a half ago. But I thought that that injury had you know, healed and that was old news. But when I, saw the wrist, when I saw the wrist brace, I looked around at some of my classmates and they were also worried. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Safraz Bajwa. I'm a graduate of Jamia Ahmadi UK. And I had the honor of spending one year here in Islamabad in 2020 and 2021. One morning I woke up and my back was in so much pain that I couldn't move. I didn't understand what happened. I thought it was a spinal injury. And I laid down in the small mosque inside Musru Hall and I, and I was just in pain. And I, someone informed Sadr Sahib that, you know, he's, he's in pain and he can't move and it's, it's a back injury. So Sadr Sahib immediately informed Hazur and Hazur the love and attention that Hazur showed just humbled me. So immediately, as soon as Sadr Sahib had told Hazur, two or three different types of homeopathic medicine uh, was sent from that office and for me to take. And then at Zohar Namaz, Hazur came out and after Namaz, before going back inside, Hazur asked Sadr Sahib again, okay, how is Safraz doing now? And Sadr Sahib informed him and so Hazur prescribed a few more heat patches and he told Sadr Sahib to bring certain things from his own house that might help. And he even told doctors, Dr. Shabir Bhatti Sahib and Dr. Thay Nasir Sahib to come and check if anything was wrong. So when the doctors came and checked and they found out there's nothing serious, there's nothing with the spine, it's just pain, it's just an injury. And Sadr Sahib informed Hazur. And Hazur said something which struck me. Hazur said, ke ko karne ki hai. That the youth of today are not able to tolerate pain. And this, this hit me because after all that love and attention Hazur showed me, I knew that at the end of the day, I'm not, there's nothing serious going on, I'm just in pain. So I should be able to take the pain and uh, continue with duty and not take days off my duty just because of the pain. And so I returned to duty that day. And in the next class, when Hazur came, he, was, he saw me and he, Hazur said he was surprised to see me. And he asked how my back was and I said, Hazur, Alhamdulillah, it's, uh, it's recovering, it's, you know, there's pain, but Alhamdulillah, I'm here. And Hazur smiled. And he opened the book and he began teaching the lesson. And as he opened the book, I noticed that Hazur was wearing his wrist brace. And this, this worried me because we had heard that Hazur had injured his wrist or hurt his wrist a while ago, maybe a year and a half ago. But I thought that that injury had, you know, healed and that was old news. But when I saw the wrist, when I saw the wrist brace, I looked around at some of my classmates and they were also worried. And halfway through the class, I couldn't help it. I put my hand up, I asked Hazur, Hazur, why are you wearing the wrist brace? Is your, have you hurt your hand again? And Hazur looked at it and laughed and said, okay, normally I wear this in the office, but I take it off whenever I leave the office or go outside. And today I, I seem to have forgotten. And Hazur said, Ab tumne de clear that you've seen it. And this was painful for me because it shows that Hazur is still in pain and he's still feeling the pain in his wrist and he's still injured. And yet he doesn't want people to know. He doesn't want people to see his pain or worry about him. So when he's alone, he wears his wrist brace because he needs to. But when he's in public, he takes it off to hide his pain almost. And this is humbling because it shows that the Khalifa of the whole world hides his own pain. But when it comes to the pain of someone else, he will make sure that that person is taken care of. And he will think about that person for the whole of that day.